Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Ubiquity has released a few different firmware updates for the Unify Network Controller as well as Unify Protect. So in this video, we're going to go through some of the change log. If you don't feel like listening to me reading through it, I'll put the links below so that you could go and take a look. We'll also take a look at a few of the UI changes within our Unify Network Controller. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www mactelecomnetworks.com you'd find us on instagram at mac telecom networks and if you'd like to join our discord i'll put the link below so first let's start off with the unified network video recorder 2.2.7 there's a couple improvements here we can see add support for cloud backup so what this does it will push your backup files to the ubiquity cloud and it will be linked to your account.ui.com it has report uptime on mobile app during setup has improved log rotate mechanism, enhanced stability for support erase and format. We also have enhanced user experience for hot plugging disk. And then we have enhanced user experience for the reset button. Also, there's enhanced boot up stability to start applications, enhanced the stability for disk mounting during boot up time, and then change LED color disk tray to amber when the disk is faulty, which I think is great. And then we have a couple bug fixes here. This comes pre-packaged with Unify Protect 1.19.0, but they now have a higher version. They have 1.19.1, so we'll take a look at that next. And really the only improvement to 1.19.1 is the floodlight. So improve the user experience via shortening the response time when changing the light settings. And then we have a web UI, add recommendation to use optimal HDD for the following models. And then we have some bug fixes. The list for Unify NVR and Unify Protect isn't that long. The big update is for our Unify Network Application 6.4.54. So let's take a look. And this is the list for the Network Application 6.4.54. And you can see the improvements, there are a ton. And then under bug fixes, there's a huge list. We're not gonna be going over all of this, but I'll point out a few of them. At the very top, we have Add Optimize IoT Wi-Fi Connectivity Field in the Wi-Fi Configuration. We have Add Wi-Fi Interference Chart. We have Add Wi-Fi Settings to Hotspot Form. It adds WPA3 support for the UDM base model. It adds Status Section to display options in topology. It will add Default Firewall Rule to allow Unify Talk Traffic. Allow Enabling VPN on an existing network and then Adjust Property Panel Table Column Style. We have improve WAN failover notifications and improve application startup stability. It has an update to traffic and security main page, update adopt button and property panel tab. It changes the name beta to Unify Labs and clean up notification based on statistics, data retention settings. A couple of the bug fixes, it adds missing Unify clients in the client page, add missing device status to device filter. It has a fix for restoring from backup, a fix for Mac ID filter list crashing, Fix for topology property panel crash. So that's all I'm going to go through. If you want to read the full list, like I said, I'll put the links below. So now let's get into some of the UI changes. So to first update your controller, you can see I'm already on 6.4.54. You would want to go to your system settings and then click on updates. You may not see the update under the network controller, but if you do want to update, you could always do it through an SSH session. And how we do that, we just launch PuTTY. We would go to the IP of our UDM Pro or whichever device you're using. So 192.168.10.1. Put in our username, which will be root, and then our password. So to put a password on our UDM Pro, you need to go to advanced and then turn on SSH. This will ask you to put a password in. Next from the, rele Next from the release list, we could scroll down in the top comment here shows you how to do it. So we need to type in unify-os shell and then copy this into the terminal. So I could go back to my PuTTY session and type in unify-os shell, and that gets me into the unify shell. And then we would just copy this and then right click and paste it in and press enter. And that will update your unify network controller. First thing we'll look at is to optimize the IoT connectivity. If we click on one of our wireless networks, I'll just click on Dolores and then click on advanced you could see that it has optimized IoT Wi-Fi connectivity. It improves the connection reliability of IoT devices. Once you create a new Wi-Fi network, this is marked off by default. Next, we'll look at adding a VPN to an existing network. I'll click on, say, Hike Vision. 
And then we could click virtual private network. And then we see here VPN setup. We have none, simple or advanced. Simple is grayed out. If I click on advanced, it says site to site. But for some reason, when you apply changes, nothing happens. So I'm not too sure what this is supposed to do or if it's actually working properly. Now they've moved where the threat management is and we could see traffic and security. If we click on traffic and security, it looks a little bit different. We could see traffic identification. So allow Unified Dream Machine to analyze network traffic. And then we have device identification. Allow Dream Machine to identify network devices. And then we could clear device identification data. If we look down, we could see our global threat management. And this is where we're gonna do all our tuning for threat management. So we have detect and block intrusion to my network. So we have our IDS and then we have our IPS and then we could turn it off. We still have the same system sensitivity. So it goes from maximum performance to maximum protection. And then you could see the country restrictions. Currently I have two countries blocked. In the new user interface, this is where you're gonna find your firewall settings as well. If we look under advanced features and customization, this is where we're gonna have a few of our toggle settings. So this has restrict access to malicious IP and restrict access to Tor. And then we have our other customized threat management. And this has the other 35 switches. We also have our network scanners here. So our threat scanners and our honeypot. And the one last thing I'll show you is when we click on our PoE switches. So I have the enterprise switch, which has power over ethernet. We can now power cycle the port from the new user interface, which is awesome. So if we click on our settings and then we go to ports, we could find a power port and click on that power port. From here, it says manual power cycle. The Unify OS console will automatically turn off the port, then turn it back on again. So we could port power cycle. The one thing I still do wish is that we could just do it from here with that little button on the side. It makes it a lot easier to do if you're doing a bunch of different cameras per se. There's a lot more to this update, so make sure you take a look at the list and also check the comments before updating to see what issues people are running into. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.